Hello everyone, this is CT1 Echo India Zulu and today I'm going to show a new version of the Echo Link running on the Enrico TM7 and I will also see if, uh, if it runs well here on the, my top pod N58, this network radio and everybody was expecting this since a long time because uh, Echo Link um, Android version was not able to handle the PTT buttons of our network radios. So it was kind of annoying to use the, an app. And Echolink is so nice and so popular um, that so, and because network radio is starting to become so popular as well, so a lot of demand has raised uh, and uh, finally um, K1RFD, Jonathan, he was very nice and he, he wanted to make this to work. So um, I have been in touch with him for the last three or four um, weeks and he, he now came up with, uh, with um, a beta or a prototype of the Echolink um, app that works with the Enrico TM7. This uh, version is not yet uh, available for distribution, but it's already um, available for uh, tests. Okay, so if you are really interested to make a test, then you uh, try to contact me and um, we will be able to, to arrange, make an arrangement so you can test the Echo Link with your uh, network radio. Okay, so I have my copy here of Echo Link somewhere uh, in my Google Drive and this is the easiest way actually I find to to have files uh, being transferred to to my TM7 and um, actually to all my Android radios uh, because it's a, an easy way to instead of sending an email or taking the, the SD card and this is just the way I find it more easy. So I have here the installation link. It's, this is version 1.53. As I said, this is not yet available. And here, let me see, I will just install. I have to give you permission to use the GPS and all that, that's pretty much standard. And I'm going to use my uh, keyboard, Bluetooth keyboard to connect to the Enrico. But you don't, you don't actually need a keyboard, an external keyboard, but it just makes things easier. So that's why I, I like to use it, okay, to enter call signs and all that. And you can even send uh, texts to, to, to everyone using the keyboard. What I'm going to do now with the keyboard, it works if you just press the touch screen display and you enter uh, all the data from there, okay? So I just type here my call sign, CT1EIZ. This is an old call sign. I have this since I am 16 years old. Now it asks me, asks me for my password. I'm gonna do it off screen for the obvious reasons. So I hope you don't take it personally, but that's the way it is. Okay, there you go. Now, um, is loading is loading a station list like if it does in the normal in the in the older version uh, now I'm going to settings and I will just type in that I want to use the PTT button and here I have to tell you that uh, Jonathan has done something amazing because you don't have to uh, map which PTT button uh, is the one for your radio so it, it just detects it automatically, which is amazing. Okay, so now I have um, everything set. So if I press my PTT button, it should work without any trouble. Uh, let's try to connect to the echo test here. Connecting to echo test. I hope it works because this morning there was something with the server. It's, it's kind of slow with the connection. I'm not sure if it's my router here at home and you see it's connecting to echo test and it's just not being able to connect right away. So I'm going to do something uh, that you probably know you can do which is to to decide what type of connection you want. You can have direct, public proxy, relay, uh, let me see direct if this is sometimes this is a network issue is going to load the stations once again. If the direct is calling, is working, I mean, let's see the echo test. I do connect. I 
hope it's gonna work this time. It's a bad day to make a video. I'm so excited and now <laughs> the connection is not working. I really hope you understand this is nothing related with the app itself because this is definitely a network issue going on here. And I promise you this worked before. So but that's 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 the thing is is it is not this is not want, willing to collaborate today. Okay, public proxy. Let's do a public proxy. Proxy connected to Echo Alpha 5. Gold Fox is loading the station list. And um, let me see now. Echo test. Okay. Now we Welcome to the Echo Link test server. This server records your transmissions and plays them back to help you adjust your transmitted and received audio. Please feel free to connect as often as you like. I think everybody's familiar with this recording of the echo test. Um, okay, so now we are using the, the proxy uh, from our friend in, in Spain and it's working fine. This is just a temporary network issue. It works pretty much, well, I'm sure depending on your location in the world, you, you will not have this uh, connection uh, issues. Okay, but now it's time to press the PTTD button and uh, make a quick test. Let's see. One, two, three, how I like to see this screen on my Enrico TM7, because this means Echolink is working fine with the PTT button. And uh, here we have the parrot. One, two, three, how I like to see this screen on my Enrico TM7, because this means Echolink is working fine with the PTT button. Okay, guys, so this is... Uh, a uh, uh, very good demonstration on, on how the PTT is working fine now on the Echo Link. Now I'm going to do something um, fun as well. Uh, you know, I, I have been responsible, uh, this was already like 10 years ago, uh, for the introduction of the Echo Link in Portugal. At that time it was illegal and we had to, uh, to make an associ a legal association of amateur radios. Uh, operators and uh, we had uh, um, and we created at that time a conference server this is a very old conference server and it's, it's still running I, I'm not so uh, related uh, at this moment with the guys but uh, it's it's still working it's still working up and, and working where is it? it's called uh, Luzofuna just a second and the funny thing, I, I just want to, to show you something fun here. There you go, Lusophona. And I will connect. And. Bem-vindos à conferência Lusophona. Obrigado pela preferência. This is the voice of the daughter of one of the founders as well. The, his call sign is uh, CT1 Echo X ray Echo. Well, but what I wanted to show you is if you go to text and here, you can just say hello to everyone, you know, 73, CT1, yeah, easy. And the good, this is why I like to have the Bluetooth keyboard with my Enrico TM7, okay? Um, you can actually use a, a standard keyboard um, and uh, you don't have to use a Bluetooth. Of, of course, if, if it's Bluetooth, it's much uh, uh, more practical because you can just uh, put it anywhere. You can take it with you on holiday easily. Um, but you can use a standard keyboard. This is a mini USB uh, port here. And you can actually order from Amazon an adapter from normal USB to OTG USB. OTG means own on the go. And this is a standard, so you can connect um, USB regular devices into Android devices. So um, I will I will add a link uh, in the description of, of the video on how you can uh, do that. I'm I'm going to leave Echo Link here on the Enrico TM7. Done, and I'm going just to switch on my uh, Echo Link here on my. Um, I will I will exit and start again the app on my uh, 
TalkPod N58. So I, I want to show this works fine here as well with the PTT button. Okay, so I'm going to the echo test as well. Here it is. Welcome to the Echo Link test server. This server records your transmissions and plays them back to help you adjust your transmitted and received audio. Please feel free to connect as often as you like. And now you have exactly the same thing with a different uh, screen, obviously, but the PTT button is wor working as well. Just check. Okay, one, two, three. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, one thing I want to try with the with the Echo Link uh, on my TalkPod N58, and I tell you, I love this radio here. It's it, I can switch off the display, you see, and um, I can press the PTT button, and it will still transmit. Uh, and I don't think other Android radios are able to do this and this is nice. Let's let's take a look because you know if you if you're trying to make a transmission or if, if someone someone calls you um, on a, on an Android radio and this the screen is off then you have to turn it on then you have to go to the PTT button it's kind of confusion um, and uh, But uh, with this way, it's it's always ready to transmit. So let, let's see if 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 this works Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. As you see. Um, okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's one of the nice things I really like on the talk pod. So you can just stay there. Uh, so the screen is not uh, draining the battery of the radio. Someone gives you a call, you listen to the call, and you just have to press PTT. And hello, this is C21EIZ. Good morning. And there you go. And hello, this is C21EIT. Good morning. So, guys, um, now you have seen everything. <laughs> Echo Link works just fine with the network radios. As I said, this version is not yet for distribution. This is a test version. Uh, it will be uh, online for download very, very soon from the Echo Link uh, website. Um, If you have a network radio like a TM7 or a TalkPod N58 or a Radioton RT4, the Enrico's, also the T298S and the T320s, all these radios will work just fine with the Echo Link. If you have one of these radios and you want to make a test, and um, for these tests, uh, we we will need some then some feedback from you. Um, to tell you, to, so you can um, let us know uh, if you find any bug or any uh, improvements you would like to have. You just uh, drop me a line and I'll be very happy to include you in this uh, group of tests. Okay, thank you very much. You have a great day. Bye-bye.